so like i've been telling you boomers are the most retarded the dumbest generation that has ever walked uh, on this on the face of this earth I saw I saw a post somewhere regarding a nation media group when it was headed by Linus Getahi. Uh, somebody called uh, Jimmy Getonga. Jimmy Getonga had posted on LinkedIn and he was saying that there is nothing to talk about here in 2013 as an IHUB Nairobi team with Melissa Mbogu among others. We sat in the boardroom with the then MD Linus and uh, chief I don't know what officer and explained to them that the of the coming storm. We explained that the source of news should be digital and multi-channel because of how how news spreads uh, and then f let's go to finally finally the, the last paragraph finally linus told us what he wanted was an app to upload pdf versions of the paper you see this is a boomer he's being told about the emerging trends about the uh, digital uh, digital wave about how people will be consuming news not on newspapers because who do you see with newspapers anymore uh, you remember those guys they used to fold the newspaper and then put it in this jacket those are boomers they, they were so stupid they never thought of researching everything they read in the media eh? they were told hey if you do this do that that's why they are so stupid like now linus guitar he was just saw a bunch of young people and he was like god these guys are going to, to benefit it's not like nation is his mother's company it's not like it's their company in fact uh, it's also publicly listed so he sh should have done everything to embrace the emerging technologies but boomers i told you they are retarded they are so scared of anything that they are not you know in control of or they don't they had they don't have knowledge on you see that's uh, if you look at president ruto in his frequent trips uh, there are only two scenarios on why he's the one who is flying out all the time uh out of what 38 trips within the first one year uh, it's either that he knows that the people who are surrounding him are grossly incompetent or he's deliberately appointed them and uh, now taking over their roles micromanagement at their best because they even what they don't understand they still want to go and pretend that they know so that they can insinuate themselves in every uh, every every project that is going to come eh? he's, he wants to be there he wants to be in the first line to be to be the first recipient you see this is boomers this this problem is not just with ruto it's with boomers uh, they, they never stopped to question they and then because they were so comfortable during their years i told you these idiots were coming from the reserve they come to nairobi they have a job they have mortgages waiting for them they had public housing and then as time went by they realized oh we have so much land let's start grabbing the playgrounds we were the, we as we played as we enjoyed them but fuck these kids do do we care about children no let's grab the land let's build flats on them because in their highest form of aspiration it was material it wasn't about health it wasn't about wellness it wasn't about uh, you know things things related to spirituality things related to future uh, futuristic uh, sustainable communities uh, then they were just th it was primitive accumulation boomers are idiots uh, you're seeing right now they are the ones who are celebrating the arrival of uh, prince charles and camilla uh, or king charles who now I, I even forgot he became he, he ascended to the throne uh, and now they are celebrating this week you're going to see uh, an avalanche of pre uh, of pr eh? pr that, that that you've never seen before because they are trying to whitewash they are trying to induce temporary amnesia that we are being visited by our oppressor our colonizer that even after uh, displacing people murdering people genocide even after doing all of that uh, uh, and leaving us with a legacy of uh, toxic leaders uh, idiots like jomo kenyatta and all the other looters who are propelled just because they were home guards at the time uh, in spite of that glaring uh, history uh, these guys still continue uh, uh, influencing our politics they still continue propping up failed and uh, leaders like the kenya kusha shit show uh, who are their who are their favorite uh, can we call them toy boys uh, they can manipulate them into passing laws into influencing policy into uh, into con into the continued legacy of appropriation and theft and deprivation of uh, the black Mm, the black race this is all this is all about them and now this week they have deployed propagandists to make you forget to make you forget that you're being visited by the most vile and narcissistic creatures ever to walk on this planet you understand this is the, the british empire is behind the death 
eh, genocide about millions and millions of people and even today they still enact trade policies that continue impoverishing the continent while benefiting themselves and not even their own citizens because we can see their citizens complaining it is their own pockets because these guys only think about eh, eh, stealing killing and destroying let me tell you as you're rolling out the red carpet for king charles over uh, over here in this country because of your low self-esteem because of being hoodwinked by propagandists because of listening to the media all the time and eh, no, these people are paid to not question this colonial legacy eh, this history of brutality eh, let, let's just see what the dutch eh, the dutch royal family the the king uh, the king and queen of of, uh, of of holland they visited south africa and they were met with a hostile reception can you just see what they were told when they were there you made your money from us by raping our ancestors you are by the murderers the dutch are murderers and the Australian murderers They're being called murderers. They're being told, you people have made your wealth from raping our ancestors, our forefathers. You see, this is the kind of anger that should be prevalent, that should be rife in the environment today. But now you're seeing propagandists, you're going to see them. Even those who are in the Uhuru regime and the ones who are in the Kenyakusha regime, suddenly they are going to uh, cease fire for the next one week so that they can welcome the colonizer, the oppressor. And this mentality, I've told you, is prevalent with the boomers. The boomers are inherently stupid. They, 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 they never thought of questioning. They never thought that this colonial uh, in, uh, legacy they were bequeathed is the cause of the political dysfunction and they continued worshipping them yeah, up until the economy went. And we've been talking about... Uh, for instance, we'll be talking about these two uh, hoodlums, uh, IMF hoodlums. There is a uh, Professor Njoguna Dongu, and then there is Kamau Thuge. You, you see, they are an extension of the colonial legacy. Uh, the, the the Daily Nation had a had a front page which was saying "Money Men Double Speak" because these guys are not making sense. Everything they promised, they are doing the exact opposite. But uh, the, what they are doing is not new. This is, as I said, is an extension of the colonial legacy. You 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 think that these guys are technocrats these guys are gone to brainwashed and then they are deployed they're weaponized and then they are deployed by the imf and the world bank to destroy the economy on behalf of colonial overlords including these ones that you're welcoming with the red carpet this week uh, i want you to listen to a nigerian uh, a nigerian uh, scholar who was talking about the situation in nigeria which is exactly like ours just listen to him the tragedy of nigeria began in 1986 when we did the structural adjustment program when we were persuaded to devalue our currency every week for 32 years when i went to school and many of you are here the naira was one dollar fifty cents the naira was almost one pound sterling they came here persuaded some brilliant men from harvard and the world bank that weekly devaluation was wonderful 32 years of devaluing your currency until we hit 527. And they were still telling us that the Naira was still overvalued. That brought poverty, misery upon us. Then interest rates went to 30%. So nobody could build a factory, start a farm, produce anything, or create jobs. Because every time you bring in a shipload of rice, you also bring in a shipload of unemployment. Because you are transferring your wealth to sustain other economies. Somehow, Nigerians didn't notice it. So we became a nation of importance. Toothpicks. Toothpicks. Each year it cost us $18 million. Importing toothpicks. Tomato pays $400 million. So you talked about tomatoes now. One basket in town now is less than 2,000 naira. The farmers are losing money because the processor... 
So you see the, uh, the the same blueprint that Kamau Thuge was talking about, our shilling is overvalued, is the same one because he's a, he's a slave, he's a puppet, he's a clown representing the World Bank and the IMF shit show. Kamau Thuge, Professor Joguna Ndongo are a disgusting lot. These people should be lynched wherever they are because they are driving Kenya into misery, into economic anguish.